The afternoon tea experience is in the outer library at Attingham, which is in the West Pavilion. It's on the ground floor of the mansion and it's just on the approach to the front door of the house itself. Well, yeah, champagne's on me. So whether you're visiting the mansion or you're visiting the park, walking in the landscape, our visitors are really welcome to come to Lady Berwick's and have a really pleasurable afternoon tea. This space was originally built by the First Lord Berwick and known as the Outer Library because it was intended as a library, but very quickly it became known as the museum for the Second Lord Berwick to house his grand tour collection of antiquities, sculpture and Etruscan vases. Well, the setting's absolutely gorgeous looking over the parkland. And looking at the ceiling, just look at the plaster work, the craftsmanship that's gone into that with the columns. And as part of the experience of this high afternoon tea, it's just brilliant. All our cakes and scones are made here in our kitchens by Barbara and Mary, our cooks. Excellent, thank you very much. This is a real treat. It is, isn't it? My first time for afternoon tea, and it was a lovely experience. Just treated mum and dad to their ruby wedding anniversaries. It's a stunning setting, lovely, lovely room. Because this room, like a lot of Attingham, lost its original contents with the bankruptcy sale in 1827, we have evoked the original function of this room. So you can see around the shelves, they're not real books, but it's an evocation of the design that Stuart did for the first Lord Berwick. So it's actually blown up pictures of his original architectural drawing. It's a wonderful setting where I can see what the library would have looked like. I can feel as if I'm celebrating the 18th century and in being much a part of it. Absolutely gorgeous. Would you like me to open the second floor? <laughs> Food is absolutely delicious. Plenty for everyone. It's very generous, very fresh and a lovely selection of cakes. It's a real treat to be here. Let's get together more after. Oh, cheers. cheers. One of my goals in life is to find the best afternoon tea in the world. And I think Lady Berwick's rates very highly. It's a beautiful setting with the elegant Georgian setting and a little bit of the 1920s elegance as well. And the food is absolutely delicious and they do it very well. For me as curator, putting an afternoon tea experience into a grade one listed historic interior is quite a risky thing to do. But what we've achieved is a beautiful afternoon tea experience in a beautiful, magnificent architectural interior. And doing it sensitively and carefully means that we are enabling people to spend time in this wonderful space and really drink in the atmosphere.